Yeah, man. I say focus on yourself and your career. Better than wasting your time with a girl. All that fun will come later in life when you get together. It's okay to have fun from time to time, but don't let the fun get in the way of your career. Stay focused. What are your preferences? Me personally, I can't do no nine to five, dude. I need Period. my money now. The hell am I gonna do it with an investment banker? Speak on Get it, money queen. every two weeks. That's useless to me. Number two, I just don't want to date anything else but black men. It's BBC <laughs> gang over here. Period. Ah, you know Speak what I'm on saying? that. But also, I don't do short men either. Short men, bye. Like you ain't tomato, six, tomato. Two, no short kings. Six foot pushing it. Six two at least, bare minimum. Period. No Period. exceptions. What are your preferences? My preference. Um, I tend to only date black women. Uh, Whoa, what's wrong with other women? Do you hate other women? You misogynistic okay, um, pig. I also like to date girls who are in shape. I, I love going to whoa, the gym whoa, a lot. Whoa, whoa, Do you hate fat women? What's your problem? They're women okay, too. Um, I also like to date women who have curly hair. I love a girl with curly hair as whoa, well. Whoa, 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 shut that down. You, you hate women with straight hair too? You misogynistic Women hating. This is so true, bro. I can tell that men are so sick and tired of these modern women dating standards. I'm sick of it also. As soon as men say they have a preference, they get called misogynists and sexists. It's better off staying alone and focusing on a career that will benefit us in the future than dealing with these modern women delusional dating standards. waiting for you in the finish line modern women feel so entitled to that position i don't know how that works and i don't know how their brain works and i don't care to be honest keep waiting for someone it's not gonna be me if you have that mindset i can tell that you'll be just a pain in the ass to deal with anyone else's girl complain that you don't spend enough time with them and then as soon as you do they're just like on tiktok like TikTok is for people with big titties. Oh, that's not for um, you what's it like? that's not for you <laughs> my man just violated this girl bro it's good to be playful when you're in a relationship otherwise it will be just boring excuse me ma'am i have a boyfriend okay that's great i just want to let you know that your tire's flat Do you mind helping me? get your boyfriend to do it emotional damage that's the right move bro don't be simping for anyone out here women nowadays will think that you're stalking them if you both walk in the same direction yes, son. my boyfriend just broke up with me will you go out with me emotional damage the damage has been done i don't have to say anything to that and the fact that he didn't break character makes it funny at least he implied that she was beautiful just not the most beautiful one out there would you still love me if i was fat yeah of course but mom you are fat emotional damage oh my god they almost drowned from that glass of water kids are savages that's not emotional damage that's existential damage kids will say the first thing that comes to mind without thinking that's one of the reason why we love kids i do not accept a coffee or a walk as a possible date option and neither should you gentlemen be very wary of these women who are very high maintenance this woman or any other woman who thinks that they are entitled to something just because of their looks or even something else is just ridiculous i don't know why women feel entitled to a lot of things these days i'll say if she didn't want to go out for a walk or a coffee date don't even bother wasting your time with her because women like her are looking for the next free meal that they can find two women help me push my car to the side this is the hypocrisy of the self-entitled western women we want equal rights we want equal pay we want this we want that we want car doors open for us we want our meals paid for but women don't want equal rights they want equity and they want equal outcome. I thought you were strong and independent. This is the hypocrisy I can't stand about them. They want it both ways. They only want us to approach them when, we, when they need us. And after that, get the fuck away from us. I wouldn't have helped your ass either. Self-entitled, ugh. Yeah, I fully agree with this guy. Even if we want to help you, we don't. Because men feel uncomfortable offering help to these modern women. And next thing you know, she start cussing you out with bullshit like, just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I can't do this or that. We rather mind our own business. Y'all just have to deal with the bad consequences.
check the mic and make sure it sound right boys i want you guys to pause the video for a second and read all of that because i can't for the life of me read it for you if i read it i will get brain damage my brain will commit suicide the self-entitlement of this woman is through the roof i don't want to hear all why men always have to pay because women are the pride i i don't know if somebody put this put this young lady up to this to say this but um if this isn't the most narcissistic entitled thing I've ever heard, mm -mm, I don't give a damn what you got, looks, I don't give a damn. I, what men want is just spend time with them. You know, we're simple. I don't know what kind of man she's looking for but I'll bet she wake up one day when she's 50 years old and all of her beauty is gone and then she start asking why am I alone? You know what? I I'm really not feeling this no more. I I'm not. So so I think we should break up. Uh, yeah, we should. Oh, oh, okay. It's like that? Well, I I'm not even going to hold you. I kind of saw this coming. So if you wouldn't mind just giving me the keys to the car I'm letting you and getting out of my house, we'll be smooth. Now, yeah, we'll be. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Why are we moving so fast? Like, what are you even talking about, bro? Like, what do you, what do you mean? What do I mean? Give me my keys and get out of my house. Well, I, I don't want to be with you, but I still need all your things. So, so why can't you just be a gentleman and help me out while, while we're not together? What? What? Listen to me, lady. Why would I give you girlfriend benefits if you don't want to be my girlfriend? Uh, well... Let's just scrap that, okay? How, how about we stay dating? Meanwhile, I search for a whole other dude so I can leave you in a ditch to die by yourself when you're not expecting it. How's that sound? Oh, I, I almost just swore on you! Leave! Come on, man. That's some tiny me energy. Call me Mr. Baby Me. How would your mom feel about she don't this? She like you! Who hurt you? No! Nah, nah, who, who, who hurt you? That's the funniest shit I've ever seen, bro. That's exactly how they be acting if things didn't go their way. If she wants to break up with you, just be like, okay, say less. You will be the one in control after that. And if she start acting like this, just ignore her. She clearly didn't value the good man you are. She regret breaking up with you in the first place. Any guy that can't take their girl out regularly, buy her gifts and attend to her needs, you're not ready to be in a relationship. Take a break, decide what you want to do, get your money up and then we go again. I don't know why, but they like to keep exposing themselves. This is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Why should a man be with you if he's on that level? He's not even going to look your way. And I guarantee you he wouldn't take you seriously if you get with him. All just out here like dating guys who don't compliment us. Mm. And that's because those who do are like a brother to you. The contradiction of these modern women nowadays is ridiculous. And the sad thing is that they believe that they are right all of the time, no matter what. If they feel it, then it's right. Even if you show them the facts, they still think that they are right, just because they feel it. Just be up front, and if you want him to pay for it, be like, yo, you're paying for it. Vic don't trick. Vic might trick. That means you pay for this. I think that this is something that's going to happen in the future, where women will stop paying for it. I don't know. Damn! Nice bro, that was very nice. Did you see how she touched her ass when he said that? She was like, yeah, I get that all the time, but I'm not going to respond to you. Just because you're wearing a mask doesn't make you a thief. Doesn't make Listen. you nothing, okay? Are you a thief? You just wear your mask to hide your ugly face, okay? What? You're the one putting on makeup. That's a good, that's, that's a good comeback. Shut the up, that was a violation bro she knows that she can never come back with a better comeback than that i mean you asked for it and you seem like you took it well mm. i'm your first priority right now you're third third yeah who's first and second my mom's is first she took care of me my whole life she always comes before you i'm sorry i hope you realize that okay so your career second no. me in the comment section i'll support 
obviously it's supposed to be for the children, but a lot of women use it for different things when it comes to the household. If my baby father was on child support and let's say he gave me five hundred dollars, here's money for child support, and I use that five hundred dollars and I bought a wig. No, absolutely. Let's not. Do what? I'm what? If I am mm. in the household with this child seven days a week, mm. taking care of everything, paying mm. the bills, mm. your five hundred dollars, right? Mm. If I use it to buy a wig, you think my child's not gonna be taken care of though? You get what I'm saying? You're using his money to buy yourself but a wig. But maybe I'm paying myself back. It's called if, child support, no, not wig support. Not. I don't know what is this delusion that she's talking about. The money is obviously for the child, not for you to buy a wick. This is crazy, bro, using your child like that. How can you be my wife, my queen, my soulmate? These times, man can see your for four ninety nine a month, bruv. Yeah, but Netflix is ten pounds, bruv. Yeah, but the Netflix is ten pounds. That means my girl's is worth less than Netflix, bruv. That's mad. I mean, it's not wrong. And I would advise all men not to get in a relationship with an OnlyFans girl. Because some men do and they think it's okay. Your woman is meant to be for you and you meant to be for her. Not for anyone else. Is your girlfriend's boyfriend single? Asking for a friend. Hey, Sarah, this person... Wait, hang on. That's me. Well, since you are... Are you insane? You could have ruined my mustache. Smashy. It... That one was an act of violence, okay? You are shoved so far up Kim's ass, it's oh like a joke. Oh my god. god. You're such a f loser. Yeah, at least my job is not collecting Kim's money as it falls out of her ass. Now Kim is like. Well, without Kim, you'd whatever. be nothing. All you'd be doing is chasing Scott at nightclubs every night. I don't know who told you that you're the queen of this castle, that you don't need to work, because you do. She's been working, I know, since I'm up her ass all day, has been working 365 days for the last four years while you've been pregnant and doing nothing. Why the f am I even listening to you? I don't like, know. Why are you talking? I don't know. You're delusional, you're a psycho, and you're a bitch. Why don't you leave? Don't you have your own place? Know. Scott's never gonna marry you. <laughs> My man was waiting for this moment his whole life. I mean, she started it and now she's getting upset because she started that drama that she can't handle and then she slapped him. Unfortunately, I can't show you that. But nowadays, it seems like it's okay to put your hands on a man. And God forbid if a man puts his hand on a woman, that man's life will turn into shambles. I don't cook, I don't clean. I wonder you don't have a ring. This trend is so overrated, bro. But that was a fantastic comeback on his part. Hiding your body. Show me your body. I'm catching a coffin. Dude, genuinely, though, reverse the roles. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine if you were like trying to point the camera at my boobs, <laughs> and then you were like, "Stop hiding your boobs. <laughs> Show us your boobs." <laughs> but it's like nothing there, though. Damage. Oh my god, she's regretting what she said right now. My man was so quick with that. She can't even think of a comeback. I woke up, dumb glasses built like a f square. They make well, at least I can see you round headed, smooth face ass nigga. Boy, you got no details in your face. So, I got no details in my face. There's details everywhere. Details where, nigga? You look easy to draw. My heart. I still I want this power, bro. The ability to come back from any roast or insult. The man said she looks easy to draw. I'm going to remember that line for the rest of my life. Aww. Thank you. Okay. Are you opening the door for me? <laughs> my man was having none of that chivalrous pose. Maybe he's doing it just for the video. Babe. So how do you feel about only having sex with me for the rest of your life? Don't remind me. I don't mean I don't. Yeah, don't remind him. Just let the man make himself a sandwich and chill. That guy over there just smacked my ass. What ass? My I mean what? <laughs> I mean what? Wait, what? Are you saying I'm a flat ass? <laughs> I said what guy? <laughs> Wait, so I have a <laughs> ass. She can't even hold herself together after that. She wanted to test him and it flipped right back on her. Eventually, if men start talking enough, you become red pill. That's just the truth. Like any yeah. man who's honest and like sees things clearly, you become a red pill.
piece of it just is what it is what? if you're honest about the way it is that's just how yeah. it goes i didn't want to be that like i didn't i, I want to respect and fall like at, at my core yeah. i'm a romantic bro i want to fall in love hold hands do all that cute bullshit yeah. but it's not possible you they don't they will abuse you until you're weak and then leave you yeah, bro, he makes a very good point if you look at it logically. The majority of these modern women will do that to you. And they don't care. Why would they care? It's like entertainment for them. That's why you should be very careful who you choose to be with. It was at a certain time the other way around. But nowadays, it's the same for men and women. Having a partner is a blessing. True or false? True. So the more partners you have... <laughs> the more blessings you get <laughs> <laughs> you want to break up for real yes yes all right check it justina ashley sierra parker peyton jocelina and erica who the hell are those people that you pulling up on your phone i'm letting you choose who's gonna be your replacement since you want to <laughs> break up you you really out here comparing me to those girls yep who the heck do you think you are? He's gonna be your replacement. You, Choose. Yo, you, 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 you wanna, wanna start something. No, you, you wanna, wanna start wanna break something up, with me. No, you you wanna, wanna start with something with me. Why you all Try mad? to show me those girls. You, How, who the hell do you think why, you why are? Why you mad? You just say you wanna break up. Exactly. This is what you should do if your girl said that she wants to break up with you or take a break. I always say this. If she wanna break up with you, show her how fast you can replace her. Simple as that. Because she will respect you more if you do that to her. Buddy, would you choose me in a room full of girls? Depends on who the girls are. What? What? what do you mean it depends on who the girls are? So you're telling me if CL was in the room with Valkyrie and Doja Cat, I'm supposed to pick you? There's no shot. Baby, I'm not even wife. A, Not even one percent. Okay, you're my wife, and? You wouldn't pick me. I mean, if, even if there was a room full of food and you were in there, I'd pick the food before you. What the frick? Uh, Priorities, what? That's so messed up. Not really. Obviously, this is a joke that they're doing for the video. But my man wants to explore other options. Let him be. What do you guys think about this? Would you do the same? Let me know in the comment section. I want to apologize to all men. Because one minute is actually a lot of time. Besties, there's six billion men in the world and you're telling me you're choosing one that makes you pay rent? Let's cut the cap shall we there are six billion people in the world most of whom don't live in first world conditions five percent of people make over six figures in america and low six figures is no longer bougie money of said five percent how many are men how many are over six feet tall how many are single how many are under 40 and how many want committed relationships exactly this woman doesn't understand that there is more of her than the high value man she's looking for and she's giving bad advice to other women just because she got lucky with a high value man that might leave her for another woman and then she can do nothing about it because the man here is the one who has the ball not her i still don't know why these modern women give bad advice like this to other women bros are now having fucking hot boy summer and it drives me insane these boys are like hurting my friends left to right but like, weren't your friends hurting them too that don't, you don't know of? I don't think so. You know what? This might be the most controversial thing ever, but I think guys, when they date, they act. They put up their, like, best front. They're like, this is... Girls do that too? No, girl. I, from my <laughs> experience, girls do not from act. From your experience? From my experience, my girlfriends and I, we do not act. Who we, when we show do you up... Guys, do you guys fuck each other? Who we are is who we are. But you're talking, you're talking about dating dynamic versus, like, friendship dynamic. No, 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 no. Dating-wise, I think guys act... Whereas women... I dated girls that did that to me. It's a human thing. It's not just a guy. That's very biased in a way that, like, doesn't make at, sense. Are you mad at me about it? Well, no, why would I get... You, dude, it takes, it takes a lot for yeah. me to get no, mad. Yeah, no, 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 I know. I if know, I want to get you mad, I'll know. drink your collagen drink and say it's trash. I think this girl is just looking for a reaction from this guy. I don't know about this acting bullshit that people do because I've never experienced it with a woman. Or maybe I didn't know. But I think that everyone do that acting shit if they want to get something from the other person. Just like clout chasers. Who has easier lives, men or women? Men. Oh, that was quick. Like, why do men have easier lives? Well, I mean, men are seen as more capable than women, so they have easier lives. Do you think people see men as more capable of raising children? Okay, that's but women the... are seen as literally only capable. Yeah, of that's children. literally the one field. I, I, I think I think people see women better 
in so like every aspect of social work. What do you mean better? Like what? Like women are better at like social jobs, like teaching, childcare, etc. Most of those jobs get shit pay. So why are women seen like women's primary jobs are low paying jobs, and that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Men tend to go into jobs that are more desired, like engineering and stuff. What are you okay, trying so please, to say, no, no, though? No, no, no. Here, hold on. I'm what I'm trying angry. to say is, why is plumbing paid higher than childcare when both are very much needed jobs? Because plumbing's more dangerous. It's also less desirable than childcare. I feel like you're not, like, saying any factual things. Like, these are the facts, and these are the facts that men are more engineers and women are more nurturers. But what else? Like, what are you trying to say beyond that? Well, because your original point is that people see men as better at, at everything and i'm saying but people see women be as better at some things as well what high paying job is a field that is primarily women uh none, none. yeah <laughs> yeah women don't go into high paying jobs Where women the fact <laughs> no that? women can't go no, into higher like paying why not? Just... Why can't they go into high paying jobs? Most people in college are women. Why can't they go into high paying jobs? I don't... Listen, all I'm going to say is this, because this stuff has been said over and over again. When you debate with someone on a topic like this, leave your feelings outside the door. I feel like a man is supposed to provide though. Like that's what you are. You're supposed to be my provider. You're my you're the man okay. paying the bill and I'm home taking care of but with what that taking care of. I agree. Men should be providers and protectors to their household. But women also should know their role in the relationship because it's delusional if a woman wants a traditional man but she's not traditional herself. Said I see yeah. men as a business. So yeah. if I if I see you and I think I could get you, even if I could get a thousand, five hundred, two hundred, I don't give a fuck what it is. Yeah. I'ma try to get it. You should the take a kidney no, about him. Mm -hmm. That's what you say. A fucking taxi cab driver told you that he's just gonna buy you a car. This man struggling in his motherfucking self uber all of them been whooping him he's still a lick come on Period. he has he's nothing man that man has nothing that man has nothing he got what's credit. he gonna buy you he a hyundai credit. sonata he got but what's he gonna buy you he a hyundai credit. sonata credit. for real he got what's he credit, gonna buy you power. his credit but he Cash can come take that back power. from you because that shit's still in his name yeah, see we just me. let me tell you we did that game a long <laughs> motherfucking time ago <laughs> where bitches me. was going and bro this girl blue jasmine lives on another planet she's not from earth i would prefer you guys to not deal with women that have this type of mindset because all she thinks about is herself and how she can finesse men it's a good thing that she exposed herself how long should a guy last if it's one round 30 to 60 minutes uh ma'am who are you f***ing thano come on up Get out of the car. No, I'm going. I live three streets down. Open the door. No. Ma'am, I'm not going to ask you again. I don't know you. What do you want? Okay, well, I'm a police officer. Okay, you don't have you went the wrong way down a one way street. You don't have a seatbelt on. I I'm allowed under know. I'm allowed under, state, uh, under federal case law to remove you from the vehicle Girl, and have you have a seat in my car. What are you talking? I just got off work. Ma'am, 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 I'm going to ask you very nicely to step out of the vehicle, please. I know. What? I'm asking you to step out of the, no, the car. I live Okay, let me get your driver's license proof of insurance. Can you can you open it? Can you? Oh, I need your driver's license proof of insurance, ma'am. I need your driver's license proof of insurance, ma'am. I'm scared. I need your driver's license proof of insurance, ma'am. I need your driver's license proof of insurance, ma'am. I need your driver's license to prove insurance, ma'am, or you're going to be placed under arrest for obstruction. Without even mentioning how many laws she broke, this woman clearly feels some sort of entitlement. I mean, she's on the phone with who we can only assume is her dad crying about being pulled over. Hey, do you know why I stopped you? You're going too fast. You're going 35 and 25. What she should be doing is looking for that driving license and insurance. And the officer did say it like 20 times. Anyway, I think you know what comes next. Open the door, ma'am. You are under arrest for obstruction of justice. I think at this point, it's time to drop the entitlement. She's getting a new charge every couple of seconds. And is it just me or did the officer say thank you after he smashed the window? Oh my God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> Don't women end up working for a man's attention if he's the high-value man she says she wants? There's no high-value men out here for real. 
There's no high-value men? No, there are some high-value men, but there's not a lot. That's the thing. Women are the prize. That's what the people get up. Well, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. If, if, if high-value men are rare, why wouldn't the high-value man be the prize? They're not the prize, because what, what, what's there a There's prize less of them to go around. The man? They're more rare. Yeah, where are they? I, I've been searching. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. That would make them a prize. A diamond, is, a, prize. a diamond is a prize because no, it's rare. No, no, the women are the prize because women, they got a pussy, you know what I mean? Pussy makes the world go around. What? A man so, got a dick. So, so a woman, no, so, wait, wait, wait. Pussy makes the whole entire world go around. Okay, if all the men in the world were gay, how would pussy have power? I really hope they were because at this point, what the f is going on? No, women still have the power either way because we're a woman, you know what I mean? A man is a man, but a woman is a woman. I thought women wanted equality. Do women want to be equal or special? We want equality with equal pay. I'm not trying to get beat my ass beat. I want equal pay because it's like, why am I going to college? I'm getting A's and B's and this nigga got C's. All right, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this. Let me ask this. Is, this would is, you yeah. rather... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on, hold on. Wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. Would you rather have a high-profile job for no pay or clean sewers for $100,000 a year? I would clean sewers if it's more money. Okay. Do you think most women would choose to do that? Um, I I don't know what, what, what most women choose, but I'm talking about me. Okay, no, I get that, but I'm saying I've interviewed hundreds of women, and most women actually would not choose the dangerous, dirty job. Is that possibly why a lot of women get paid less? <laughs> well, if you're not willing to put in the work to get money, then that's on your that's all that's your fault. Do you I don't think you have the facilities for that, big man. <laughs> you think most women want to do the dangerous, dirty job? It's most not. Men... Most, it's not. Well, sometimes I'm not gonna lie. Why I'm not we, taking trash out. Well, why, why, well, why do we, why do we have the expression "that's a man's job"? Because certain things are a man's job. Because it's like, why gotta take the trash out if there's a man in the house? Right. So I'm or just saying. Lift heavy things. Well, right, but it's. When I'm talking about equal rights, I want equal pay. I want equality. I'm not trying to get. I want to walk through some and feel safe. That's what I want but to do. You, but, 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 but I'm saying. But Thank I'm saying, you. but I'm saying, but I'm saying, is it fair? To, is it fair to say if you want equal privileges, you need equal responsibilities? No, I want. Why is responsibilities with equality? Because you I'm just take, trying to get equal pay. Because you got to take why the bad with the good. Why don't do all the extra shit if I can't just, why can't I just have equal pay? Don't you have to take the bad with the good? No, you do not. We just have equality, period. You see what I mean? You know what I mean? So you, Ain't nobody got time for that. You want equality only when it benefits you. Um, no, I want equality, period. Because if why, why don't we have equality? It should be benefiting women because at the end of the day, men have more privilege than, than women do. How so? And it's just like, that shit's fucked up. First of all, a man can walk the streets without fi without feeling safe. So yesterday, I'm trying to go to a goddamn Walgreens, and I'm getting catcalled. I'm getting called a bitch. My shoe got taken from me yesterday. All because I'm from a man, all because I'm a woman. A man can walk the street, and they can feel safe. If I'm out here past a good 1, 2 p.m., I'm scared, and I'm going to go home. Are are you aware that statistically men are the highest victims of violent crime? Where? Statistically, look it Where up. Where is this at? The FBI. Show, uh, show me. The FBI show statistics. Me. I want to see it. Okay. I'll show I don't you. believe that. I'll show you. I'll show you. Show I want to see it. I mean, I agree with you. Women are the victims of, vi of a sexual crime, but men are victims of violent crime. But it's still crime, period. And it's well, no, I know that. Why would, why would I got to just run and I'm be like, oh, I'm, I might get. That's super. I, I, think, I, I think it's fucked up too. I think it's fucked up too. Period. The amount of times she contradicts herself in this video is crazy. She thinks just having a kitty makes her the prize. Sorry to let you down, but half of the populations have kitties. Then she goes on to talk about how she wants equality, but only equality when it benefits her and works in her favor. Basically, more money without the responsibility. That's just not how life works. I mean, how can she say certain things are a man's job? That sentence in itself is a contradiction to the whole equality rant. Light bill. light bill. You was not in the dark all year long. And I should have known you was about to do something stupid. Like light bill. Merry I Christmas. Swear I swear to God. It Cardinal. Cardinal. You were able to go and get your bald head friends all year long to go to the club with you. You know what? Cardinal. Mazi, I promise you. Oh. Phone you was able to call your bald head friends all year long. Thanks to me. Merry Christmas. So you wasted your time to rap all this stuff just to do that? You bet. <laughs> Red. You had a shut over your head all year long. Thanks to me. Merry Christmas. 
This shit is hilarious, but at the same time, he ain't wrong. If he's paying for her car, her rent, and her phone, how is she still expecting more from the man? I think more women need this kind of Christmas present, to be honest. So we could teach them a little lesson in gratitude. If I'm out working my ass off to pay for your lifestyle, and you're still expecting a new Gucci bag for Christmas, I'm sorry, but you need to wake up. Someone's a little wrong with their order. Apparently that's all for them. You think with all the problems in the world, extra cheese wouldn't be something to cry over. But to this woman, extra cheese is a must. Listen, I don't have a problem with people that like to eat whatever they want. But don't be demanding and entitled just because you want extra cheese. I'm sure if you ask the guy that works there politely, he would be more than happy to put extra cheese on your food. Wait, hold on. Is this the same woman from the last clip? Why are these people getting so mad over some food? Just ask politely about what you need, and I'm sure that they would be more than happy to help you. I think right, you could also it. argue that boxing is a dance, too. Uh, it's a bit different than a TikTok dance. <laughs> but, I mean, a... you are still on display, and you're, I mean... Correct. But my life is on the line, and I've seen five people die. I don't yeah. want to... I don't want to sit here and brag and talk about the things I've done to people. There are people who will never be the same again after they stepped in the ring with me ever again. I've had I've seen screaming wives crying over the, their, their lifeless husband. I, I've done things you, you wouldn't believe when you step in that ring. It's a different level. It's not a TikTok dance. It's actually extremely disrespectful. I know you didn't mean to disrespect, but it's extremely disrespectful to even insinuate that. It's not a TikTok dance. It's life and death. It's gladiators. It's a different, it's a completely different realm. Facts. I can't believe she just compared boxing to a TikTok dance. Like he said, boxing is literally life and death. I think she needs to step in the ring and try to dance her way out of that one. My bet is it doesn't go too well for her. Like, you really just should have paid for all our food. For one, I'm not paying for everybody's Even food. It's your birthday, birthday all cool, all but friends. I'm not doing that. It's 18. Why, why do you got to pay for all y'all food, though? You brought 18 friends. I'm going to leave you. You staying here with him or you coming with me? Nobody wants a broke nigga. You should have this shit is beyond entitlement bro you expect your man to pay for you and all of your friends on your birthday when your friends should be the ones that bring you gifts and treat you on your birthday this video is giving me staged vibe to be honest and this whole situation feels fake i think that these two met on a facebook group or something and she told her friends to tell their friends that this guy would pay for everything on her birthday this shit is crazy did you see what i sent you no hang on what what the f is this? So he's been lying to you. What? Did you know about this? No. What the f Oh my god, this cannot be happening. Well, only time I had sexual intercourse with Petitioner, which is the girl, was in March 2021 in Houston, Texas. This is from his words in his declaration. <sighs> Everything's gonna be okay. No matter what, everything's gonna be okay. You know, we really believe that he had changed. Like, I was his biggest supporter. It's not, if, but if this isn't more clear. So she give you guys a little bit of context. Kim showed Chloe something about her boyfriend, Tristan, the professional basketball player. She told her that he was cheating on her, but that's not the point. The point is when men like this reach a certain caliber, a high social status, they're gonna have options. We've talked about it all the time on this channel. Now, I don't condone cheating on this channel, but whether women like it or not, a man like this is not gonna be faithful to one woman. Simple as that. Dirty, give it to me, girl. What kind of man you looking for? Looking for someone that is actually healed because I noticed on your show it's a lot of broken people coming up on this show and they really need therapists and they're the reason that why it's mustard yellow piss in the dating pool 
And it's well, like, girl, you got a whole two year old baby. Somebody can look at you like that's crazy. Yeah, but no, not really, Kendra. Yes, really. A guy can look at a girl and say, you have a two year old. Why are you not with the dad? Like you could have worked that out. But I'm not, think that mustard, I'm not the mustard yellow piss in the pool, Kendra. You got to be careful when you talk your show directly about other people because your resume to a guy is not what you think it is. You got two baby daddies, you got a two-year-old, and you got a 14-year-old, which means you had a child in high school, correct? Yes. Men ain't jumping for joy all the time to sign up for that. So you coming at people strong that been on my show, but the guys that might want to date you might feel the same way about you. So she's 30 years old with three kids and two different fathers to her kids. And she's complaining about how it's mustard yellow piss in the dating pool. And on top of that, she wants someone that is healed. Now, I don't know how many red flags I just mentioned, but I wouldn't get myself involved with a woman that has three kids and two different fathers. That's just crazy, bro. It's like I see the trap in front of me and I'm just walking into it. This shit is so fucking unfair. Like, why the fuck do I have to go through this? And he's just fine. Like, that's not fucking fair. <laughs> he needs to go about his life, have his home, have his cars, have his financial stability. And I'm over here fucking struggling. I'm over here fucking crying all the time. I'm the one who's going through it. And he's just fucking fine. <laughs> like, how is that fucking fair? <laughs> Why can't I just be fine just the way he is? Why can't I just not fucking care? <laughs> Bro, this is just getting ridiculous right now. It's like she wants him to be miserable just like her so she can feel fine. You see, this is what happens when you move on from a breakup that easy and continue living your life. What happened has happened. You learn from it and you move on. And with all due respect to this girl, she needs to remove that ego. It's not her talking. It's her ego talking. The definition of feminism across the board is the social, political, and economic equality of the sexes. Yeah. I mean, you need to acknowledge your privilege first. If people could hear that about themselves and not be defensive, I think that we could probably push the needle forward a lot faster. As a, if, as a woman, just... I'm not sure that I'm concerned whether or not you want to join as a Wait, man. Is that not part of the issue? But that's segregating gen. That's that's segregating genders. If you're saying that you don't care about my opinion as a man, that no, goes no, against I, everything I, the feminist movement goes. I don't care about reshaping and forming my feminism in a way that is digestible for you as a man. Yeah, we all know that this feminism stuff is not women fighting for equality, but rather they want superiority and they want to pick and choose when equality benefits them. Personally, I don't think that there is something called equality. There is equity and justice. Men and women are very different. Men can do certain things that women can't do and women can do certain things that men can't do you've used a phrase i want to make sure i understand what you mean by it you've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy it, would that be women many women cis women have the capacity for pregnancy many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy um there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy so this isn't really a women's rights issue it's, a, it's about what so um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. I'm it's denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking Are you? you if you're talking Are you? about women Are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that there, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think women can get <laughs> so you are pregnant. denying that trans people like this thing. And that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you, Absolutely. or are they also treated like this? Where no, you, no, no, they're, they're told that to they're at opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Bro, just look at those mental health eyes. My name are just coming up to me with the mental health eyes while I'm at boots buying condoms, man. And they were just coming up to me like, yo, fam, you need to put me on, cuz. You need to put me on cause I rap. You can't debate with humans like this because if you don't agree with their opinion, they get offended and start accusing you of this and that. This person is so deep into her delusional bubble that she can't even accept criticism. I just can't debate with humans like this. If I say something, they're gonna twist it and make it sound however they like. Debating with humans like this is like pouring water on the sand. You accomplish nothing, absolutely zero. And she just ain't got, it's like she don't want nothing in life. I cannot be with a woman like that. All we do is argue. Argue, argue, argue. 
She don't want to work. She pick her kids up, drop her kids off to a mama house while she go out and be in the streets all night. And I'm over here paying the bills. And the f***ed up part is, I got a homie. His wife got a business. She was going to hire her on the spot to answer the phones for her business, $20 an hour. I tell this dumb hey, my homie wife got a business. And all you got to do is answer the phone, $20 an hour. She going to look at me and tell me what the fuck I look like. I'm like, what do you mean, what the fuck do you look like? $20 an hour, you telling me you can't work for $20 an hour to sit on your ass? That's when I knew I couldn't work her number. That's her kids, son. Uh, it's like, I can't do it. Her kids tear my house up. You know what I mean? I love them kids with my dear heart, but I can't do this. Sometimes you get fed up. I'm waking up. I'm going to work every day with attitudes, getting into it with my boss, arguing with my employees, I mean, my coworkers. And it's like, I just can't do it. God, please forgive me for doing this. I never meant to be this way. Like, you know, you know I'm a good man at heart. But sometimes you get fed up. I done asked her seven times to leave, and it's just like, I can't deal with this no more. Yeah, man, I'm glad you made that choice. Guys, this is a learning experience for all of us. Don't deal with a woman that has kids that ain't yours, that doesn't respect you, that doesn't bring anything to the table. And on top of that, she goes out to clubs and she doesn't want to work. I'm just surprised that this man kept up with that bullshit for a long time because I can't do it. You've restarted, let me, let me, let me fair enough. Let me just stop you so you don't waste a line of questioning. I'm just giving you... <laughs> I love the, the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You're loving what? The mansplaining that's going on. What's, what well, just mean? talking me through how, how what you, well, what you, what by you, not answering the question, what you, what you, what you, what you by repeating suggesting? processes which are not related to the question that I've asked. What's, what's mansplaining, what's Senator? Well, it's the slightly patronising and condescending way that you're responding to my questions. Well, I would suggest, Senator, that if you're putting the word man in front of uh, some description of what I'm doing, you're doing that which I'm sure you're very much against, is making a, a sexist implication about how I'm conducting my role well, as a man. Well, then the easiest way what, to do is it... What, is that what well, you're saying, Senator? Well, what I'm saying is that the way you've been responding to me has been patronising and condescending, and I have responded to that. So the easiest by, by, way to deal with this is not, imagine, is, not ima to, imagine, Senator, is not to imagine to have that way in responding to the questions I've asked. Imagine the reaction, Senator, if I said you were woman splaining. You're saying that I'm mansplaining. Well, it is a term that's used. Is it when, by whom? Well, by it rude, is a term that's used. By rude. Doesn't doesn't make By rude senators. Uh, by senators no. who are seeking to make gender an issue. Stop being a hypocrite. Well, Conduct yourself it. appropriately for this well, place. I'm sorry you're so offended by the use of the word. It is it is a word that's used. Uh, it's it's a. I'm surprised that you're so shocked by the use of the word. No, I'm just um, I'm just calling hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Well, thy name yes. is Labor. Thy name is Senator Gallagher. Again, this is just another example of a woman that is not taking accountability for her own words and actions. A woman in a position like hers should at least be aware of what's coming out of her mouth. But no one's gonna do anything about it. Because women get away with saying whatever they feel like saying. All these types of women do is blame men and the patriarchy for no reason but their feelings and how something made them feel. If they get offended, they start ranting about it. And let's just say this was the other way around. Oh my god, it would be a huge issue. They will do anything in their power to take that man down. That just tell you how messed up things are. And I want to add one more thing. I just like how the minister responded to that whole thing. He didn't do the same thing that she did. He called her out on her bullshit and hypocrisy on the spot. She's a 10 but she thrives off the attention of nine other guys. She's a zero. <laughs> Why is that video so long? She's a zero. Done. End of video. Yeah, why is that even a question, bro? I always say this. Don't get involved with women that crave validation and attention from other men. That's the biggest red flag in a woman. What is something that sounds perfectly normal and reasonable unless a man says it? I've cheated on you, so now we're breaking up. The kids are staying with me. You have to move out. You also have to pay child support. And if you want to see your kids, you need to fight for them. Imagine a dude saying that, but that seems normal nowadays, isn't it? Again, this is another good point that goes back to the woman in the first clip. Her saying to the minister, I love the mansplaining. Sounds normal and reasonable, unless a man says it. But as for this clip here, I'd say be very cautious of whom you choose to be in a long-term relationship with. If you observe any kind of red flags in that person, don't take that relationship seriously. So pull it up. Say it with me. 
I've been dating my boyfriend for almost four years, and um, occasionally we will bump heads. I love him to death, but we'll bump heads when we have a difference in opinion. Um, for and uh, I think my happiness should be his priority. Let me just say that. You so think what? My happiness should be his priority. So I want to oh. give an example. So he's been growing a beard for um, the last two years. Um, I'm, I, I'm going to love him either way, whether or not he has the hair. But I didn't ask for this beard. And I kind of want the beard to go back the way that it was when I first got with him. And, um, you know, I just want to know your opinion because I watched the episode when you had Marjorie, when you were talking about your beard. And Marjorie loves your beard, and that's why you have the beard. So I want to mm. know, what's your opinion? Shouldn't he be consulting me before he makes these decisions? And what would you say if Marjorie didn't like your beard? Your happiness should be his priority. Not now, does that make any sense to you guys? Women will say this kind of stuff, but their actions say otherwise. If you prioritize your woman's happiness, she's gonna leave you. Now, I'm not saying that you should make her feel miserable all the time, but prioritizing her happiness is gonna lead you to the end of that relationship. What should be prioritized first, in my opinion, is not love or happiness, it's respect. I say this all the time. If a woman doesn't respect you, she's gonna walk all over you. And again, not all women, but the majority will. So that's why respect and putting boundaries should be the first thing that you both should talk about when y'all get in a relationship that's how i see it personally come here come here come here come here come here yeah come, 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 bitch yeah yeah i think we should do this to the woman in the first clip and see how she reacts take better men is just another way to gaslight women into taking accountability for the way men behave don't like that one the same as the last one Ooh, this one's tall. But it's the same as the last one. Hmm, not my type. Let's try this one. Same thing again. Why are they all the same? Enough has been said without saying anything. Great example, my guy. Such a good way to call someone out on their bullshit. My biggest red flag in women, well, first of all, the biggest red flag in women is women themselves, cause girl wicked. <laughs> Would you stop with the fucking goddamn it? Don't break my balls, Jackie. I'm starting to eat. You don't want anything to get the hell out of here. Go wait in the car. Can dance. Now that's how it should be. That's true love right there. A woman in a Facebook post said, Why males take so long to mature? Y'all retarded or something? And the guy said, Why females take so long to get ready? Y'all ugly or something? <laughs> that was an absolute violation, bro. She can't even fire back with a good comeback for that. It is done. Who are safer drivers, men or women? Well, according to a new survey, 55% of adults feel that women are most responsible for minor fender benders, while 78% blame men for most fatal crashes. Please note that the percentages in these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. So. For those of you hissing at that joke, it should be noted that that joke was written by a woman. So now you don't know what the hell to do, do you? No, I'm just kidding. We don't hire women. Oh my god, that was genius and funny at the same time. Bro, people get easily offended by anything nowadays. Your dick is not getting any bigger. Bro, why is it direct? What the fuck? What are I doing? Bro, trust me, I felt the same way when I saw the clip for the first time. But it is what it is. We laugh at it and we move. Simple as that. What's your type? I have a girlfriend. So what's your type then? <laughs> my girlfriend. And what does she look like? She looks like my girlfriend. So what would you rate me out of 10? Um, I can't do that. Can't rate me at all? I can't rate you at all. What would you rate your girlfriend out of 10? She broke my scale because she's so beautiful. Bro, I don't know if you're joking or not, but blink twice if you need help. It's a good thing that you're a loyal man. What kinky sex act would you recommend everybody try at least once? Eight hours of uninterrupted, restful sleep. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. So yeah, I broke up with a guy. I married another guy. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah. So does that make me a play girl? I am a play girl. How? Do no, 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 no. You're not called a play girl. One second. Let me explain. One second. I haven't finished my question. Okay. I haven't that finished my fine, question. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Point number. Firstly, 
nobody has a right to label any girl or a boy no it is my choice to do whatever i want to do okay there is no gender here there is no gender here just because you know you have something extra i have something extra in my body It's as simple as that but i or one more thing i have something more i can give birth you can and you talk about i can i can give the software oh, to you to give oh, birth i was about to say that one second i, I, I can give the formula of a human being i was about to say that i was about to say that oh i don't need your sperms you know what even dog sperms can give birth to a human child do you know that okay okay biology. go marry a dog <laughs> Okay, I was with you on the point that everybody has a choice, but you lost me when you said that women can get pregnant by dog sperm. I really don't get the point of this conversation. He's saying that he can get an AI software to give birth, and she's saying that dog sperm can impregnate women. Bro, what are we talking about? This is just emotion and egos talking and arguing with each other. That's how I see it. But what do you guys think? Am I missing something here about AI? I and all that stuff. Let me know in the comment section. Around how many people would you say live on Earth? On Earth? Yeah. Eight million. Million or billion? Eight million. Yes. I don't cook. I don't clean. But let me tell you how I got this ring. You were nice until he married you, and then you showed your true colors. I want you to read. I want you to sit down and read. Sit down, sit down. You gotta sit down for this one. So there. Roses are red, violets are blue. You are my girlfriend, and I love you. Oh. Someone told me from your family that really inspired me to do this today, and. Really, who? I think you should find out by reading what's behind. The roses are wilting, the violets are dead, I heard you've been cheating, I guess I will be leaving. What? I found some underwear. First of all, that did not rhyme at all my guy. So I'm kinda annoyed at that actually. But that being said, y'all know what to do when your girl cheats. People who were born in 2000 are now 40. Let that sink in. I think you got your math wrong on that one. Because if you if you because if you look at the calculator because if you look if you look at the calculator you'll see that all the people born in two thousand twenty one that are are forty were born in nineteen eighty one, not two thousand. Here are a list of things I expect men to pay for if we're dating. Um, number one, all dates, and I don't mean dinner dates. I mean kayaking, snorkeling, going to theme parks, zip lining, etc. I expect a man to pay for all that. Number two, my nails. I get my nails done uh, roughly once a month. They, you know, that's pretty good for me, so I expect him to pay that. Number three, my hair. Um, I just feel like as your girl, I should just not walk around with my hair looking crazy, and you should pay for it. Number four, gas. I just think that that's just like the masculine thing to do is to make sure that my gas is always on full. Number five, wax. Um, I feel like that's pretty much self-explanatory. Like, you should just pay for my wax. It's yeah number six my electric bill chances are if we're dating you're probably gonna spend a lot of time in my house which is going to cause my power to go up and so you should just pay for it let me know what y'all think Yeah guys, listen up. This is how you should treat women in 2194. Come on guys, we can do it. Every man should do it. Y'all must be broke if you don't pay for all of that shit. And on top of that, you should give her your monthly revenue as well. She's a queen, she deserves it all. Bro, I think my brain committed suicide listening to her. I have a thing for single girls. I don't have a thing for sure guys. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey. I'm too tall. You too tall? Yeah. Take up the chocolate. Ma'am, look, let me tell you this. Uh, I'll accept you for the way you are. Because I know, I know. Deep down inside is what matters. Look, because yeah. you care about height. But if you take off that makeup, guys will look at you uh, different. Ah, no, I'm still cute regardless. You're still cute? Yeah. So why you have it on then? You're right. You're goddamn right. I, I appreciate how calm you are. You have a nice, um, calm sense about you. And I understand um, human anatomy a little bit, and I love uh, your shows. 
They're very informative. It's great information to take. I'm a six year vegan. Um, I don't know if you know too much about that, but I like to get that out. In R.I.P. to the legend. I mean, I would do the same thing if I was in his place. If you jump from informative to human anatomy to being a vegan for six years, what are we talking about? Focus on discussing one topic at a time. Then you can jump to other topics. Crazy activities, bro. Can we bring back the women that rub backs and pack lunches? We're not your mom. Go get your homeboys to rub your back. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? You want me to pay the bill? I'm not your dad. You want me to <laughs> protect you? I'm not your dad. You want me to open the door? I'm not your dad. You want me to come pick you up? I'm not your dad. It's so hilarious that bare minimum is now considered too much. Like, it's like, oh my God, I'm not your parent figure. What can I say? It's just a double standard that we all have to live with in this day and age. But if you're in the top 1% of... Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Let's move on to another clip. When you meet his friend group and he's not the leader. I land him circle, circle, circle. I leader, what are we doing today, boss? Today, I think we should move to some beanies. The leader has spoken. Bro, I'm gonna start barking as well. What the f was that? One of the funniest clips I've ever seen. I think speed fans would enjoy this. You look short, I can't lie. You look short. Yeah, she looks short. I totally eat them. Oh, I'm panicking. Huh? I'm five to eight. What's so bad about being five ten? I'm I'm two inches above average height. How much Nine. inches are you above average height, baby? Uh oh. Uh oh. Five eight is average height for a woman. Uh -oh. Five eight. A five eight average height for a woman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she is. Okay. Let's start this up. Why are you pulling up Google? Don't run away. Don't. Of course, I'm pulling up Google. Don't be silly, baby. But even if it wasn't, so what? Average height for women to Okay, so what is that? Okay, tell me what is that? Uh -oh. What is that? I'm mean? unique centre back. So what? I like when people say that because they know that they're about to be proven wrong for their bullshit. I always say this. Don't come with the fire if you ain't gonna sustain the heat. Hey, did you uh, fall from heaven? Yes. Cause your face is all fucked up. I was looking for a sucker and I found one. Please, please. Okay, in my mind, I was getting one of Nick's leftovers anyway, so I don't care. Oh, Here we go. I want to know, whose idea was it for the fake pregnancy? Well, I mean, when you're having fake sex, then you have fake babies. Wow, wow. Yeah, well, you know what? You may have been having fake sex on your side of the bed, but on my side, I was tearing that Girl, what are you doing? Everybody knows that they can't win a roasting battle against Kevin Hart. That's just a fact. Okay, maybe Pete Davidson might win, but you going against Kevin isn't fair for you. You're bringing a butter knife to a gunfight. 300 pounds in cash right now if you let me kiss your girlfriend on the lips. <laughs> nah, it's, it's not that much money. So, would you kiss me for a thousand pounds? Probably. Hello, darkness, my old friend. She belongs to the streets. You guys have got some stuff to talk about. What do you get up? She could have just potentially ruined her relationship. I mean, I know what I will do. Peace, block, delete, move on to the next thing. Do you know how Andrew Tate is? Sadly, yes. Yes, how, how do you feel about him? I do not like him. You don't like the top G? No. Why? Give me a reason. He's... Yeah, exactly. He's, he's, he's... Hey, yo, what the fuck? Do you swear? In your stream? Um, I don't, but if you do, it's fine. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. Wait, uh, guys, I'm so sorry for swearing, man. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I don't care if other people swear, I just personally don't. I'll, don't worry, I won't swear. I'll say fudge or frickin'. I frickin' don't know where I am, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Apologize now. Fine, I am so... <laughs> I said I am so. What? I said I am so. I am Jose Mourinho. What do anybody want to deal with you? How about that? Let's see. I'm intelligent. I'm motivated. I have my own business. I maintain my own lifestyle. I'm not understanding the full scope of your question. Well, see, that's the problem now, ain't it? You just described yourself as a man. See, you got to understand what the men want. And none, nothing you said in there was anywhere close to being feminine, beautiful, inspirational, caring. 
loving. The way you're talking, I almost sound like a dude. Modern women in this day and age don't care about what men want. It is what it is. Because men are taught how to treat women. And women are taught what to expect from men. And that tells you exactly why women don't care about what men want. Let's have a baby now. Come on. Right now? now. Yeah. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. If she sleeps with you on the first date, she probably doesn't like you. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming. I'm gonna keep this brief since women keep trying to bring up these counterpoints. <coughs> Still hit though. Thank you. No more questions. Do you think there's a difference between what women say that they want in a relationship and what they actually respond to? Yes, there's a difference. So how can you trust a woman's dating advice? How can I tr Oh. Gotcha, bitch. A lot of a lot of women will say that they want a nice guy, but then they'll go and date the bad boy. Yeah. If women aren't backing up what they say that they want with their actions, doesn't that mean it's kind of hard to take women seriously when they when they say they want certain things? I think relationships are something that if it's a mutual feeling, both people will want to work towards it. What? If it's just like Women like to say like, oh no, you do whatever you want. But at the end of the day, we still want you to do what we want. Like we're not, I'm not gonna lie to you about that. I can tell a guy like, oh, you don't have to get me, oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to get me flowers. But at the end of the day, I'll still want flowers. Because women don't like to ask for things. So, go say, sorry, going back to your question. I'm not saying you shouldn't trust women, you should. But men should like put their effort. Women like to see effort. At the end of the day, it's all about effort. Yeah. Effort guys, if you put a lot of effort into a woman, she might consider going out with you. Listen, the only thing that I'm putting effort into is myself and what I do. I'm not going out of my way to please a woman just to attract her. I mean, I shoot my shot, but if she's not interested, I move on. Deuces. Listen, if any man, including myself, works hard on his shit and became a high value man, the attraction of women would be a lot easier. They'll be the ones that put in the effort. He really tried it. Huh? I'm just recording the car, bro. Yup. Okay, Pretty nice car, man. Yo, what's that? Stop on my car. What's up? Get off my car. Stop the cap. <laughs> what's up? Get off my car. What's Why about? are you recording? Ooh, where are we now? Yo, this is my car. What do you mean? Yeah, it is. Is this car? Yeah, it's my car. You said it was. That's crazy. Yo, 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 chill. Because this is daddy's car. Wait, you said you better back up. I'm sorry. This ain't his car, but that's crazy. Caught with your side piece. How long have you two been together? Ten months. Ten months? That's good. Is he a good boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are you a good friend as well? Uh huh. Are you a good friend? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, would you rather cheat on your girlfriend or snitch on your boys? <laughs> and if you snitch, they go in prison. They watch you right now, it's over though, and she's watching you. Uh, bro, can't lie. I'm to cheat on the girl. Eesh. Would you be calm with that? Would you understand that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. So, so he's allowed to cheat to save his friends. Yeah, because I cheat on him to save mine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, that's a red flag right there, bruv. That's a red flag right there, bruv. So yeah, but then we'll get back together anyway. Shit's calm. <laughs> yeah, fair play. I don't know about the part when you said we'll just come back together. You sound like a sim, bro. Here's a masculine moment. A guy dating a woman who says if he has any positive thought about Andrew Tate, his reaction should be, you'll you'll leave me if I have any positive thing to say about Andrew Tate. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Yeah. The moment a man is held hostage by what his woman thinks, mm -hmm. he has lost his masculinity. Ooh. I need feminism. If you don't know what feminism is, if you've been living under a rock or something. Not Iraq, like not the place that America's mad at. If you don't know what feminism is, it's that women deserve more than men. So I believe that me, I deserve more because I am a woman and every month something special happens to me, okay? Then do you have to deal with that? No. No, you don't. I want women to be able to start voting. I've been waiting all my life to be able to vote. 
17 years of my life, I've been waiting to vote. And at the age of 17, as a woman, I'm still not allowed to vote. My goal is by next year that us women will be able to vote. Guys, did y'all see that drifting? That drifting was mad. I enjoyed watching it. But yeah, I think she's trolling. But if this was real, I have no words for it. God bless. I still can't get my eyes out of that drifting. Yeah, bro, I have a boyfriend. Oh, for real? Yeah. I'm just thinking maybe you can be, you know what I'm saying? You can be somebody for me to know. No, my boyfriend crazy. He killed people. Oh, okay. All right, no, I don't want none of that right now. Yeah. Oh my god, I've got a man's amount of testosterone in me today. This is wild. And I was like, if I had to deal with this every day, I don't know. I think women actually should just get prescribed a man's amount of testosterone for like a week and just yeah. like walk through society feeling that turned on, feeling that level of like, holy shit, that's what it's like to have a man's amount of sex. And I think if women understood that, they'd be like, whoa. And I think every man should go to a gay club and just like dance with a bunch of gay guys and know what it feels like to have a bunch of people objectify you and like look at you as an object that like they could they could possess yeah see i was with you on that first point it is quite distracting but i highly doubt that the dose gave you the full sensation and perception on how it distracts or gets in the way of man's day-to-day -day life and also i don't think that a man would feel objectified if he goes to a gay club because he could just tell them that he's not gay and he's there just to have a good time and they would leave him alone because men do respect boundaries i don't know correct me if i'm wrong here if women disappeared from the planet for 24 hours if all women disappeared from Earth for 24 hours, I would probably in the first five minutes lose something like really important. And then I'd spend the next 23 hours and 55 minutes just on a Lord of the Rings style quest looking for my mom. And then after that 23 hours and 55 minutes was up, she'd probably spawn back in with all the other women, look at me and be like, it's on your desk, idiot. If a woman wants sex, she can get it. If a man wants sex, doesn't mean that he can necessarily get it. Okay, so is it safe to say that women typically control access to sex more than men do? I don't know what she's waiting for. She said it herself, but I think that she's allergic to the word yes. In her head, she's saying, I don't want to agree with him, so I don't boost his ego. What she said is a fact. She just don't want to confirm it and agree with him. Chill out! Chill out! Calm down a minute! Calm down a minute! Just calm down for me, stop f***ing, come on, I have cheated on you, just chill out. There you go, leg over. Oh, Jazz! I f***ing caught you! I f***ing caught you, wait till I show our Steve this. Oh yeah, you're friends, I'm always cocking my leg over my best mate, aren't I? Here it is, Steve, there she is. Oh, hold on a minute, Jazz, hold on a sec. What, what? <laughs> Now, oh, okay. yeah, hey, hey, come on, lad. I hope you've got some nunchucks in that bag. F hell. Can you just go away? Hey. Like, what are you actually doing? You uh, him of all people, Jazz. Him of all people. He yeah. looks like he f***ing robbed Space Invaders from local. Right. Jazz, what have you done this for? I'm not doing what have you done? I knew you were doing it. I'm not actually doing anything. Oh, oh, virus in me. Mate, mate, mate. She, she's, she, she, she's with my brother. She's with a brother of mine. I don't know if you know that lie. You don't look like you know it. Did he know it? Yeah. You look. Were you friends? Are you friends? Yeah. 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 Because he f***ing looks like it as well, doesn't he? I f***ing caught you. I've been wet. My problem is. What a f***ing video. Pure entertainment. I think it's probably fake. I don't know, but that was awesome and the guy that's filming just having a go at the other guy it's hilarious when she said we're just friends and the other guy paused for a sec and said yeah 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 bro you're already caught in the deed don't bullshit your way out of it and if you have any self-respect you would break it off with that girl once you found out that she's with another man Oh, 
I don't know what this woman is trying to do or trying to achieve, but she just embarrasses herself in the most stupidest way ever. She thinks that she can take on a man. Sweetheart, you're living in the Lulu land. And I applaud the man for staying calm and not doing anything stupid. See, this is the thing with men. They know that violence could result in some serious damage. But women, on the other hand, they think that it would make them look tough. But the opposite always happens. She needs to learn how to keep her hands to herself. And one day, if she keeps on being like this, she's gonna meet the wrong man. And she's gonna learn the hard way.